360 Blog TV. Hi, and welcome to 360 Blog TV. I'm your host, Adam Major, and I'll be interviewing none other than J.W. Jones in person here at the Rainbow Bistro. Right here, we're uh, standing here with uh, Mr. J.W. Jones. Uh, would you mind telling me a little bit about yourself and the band? Sure. Uh, I'm 28 years old, and uh, the band's been going on for about uh, 10 years now. We just had our 10-year anniversary, and um, we've released five CDs. The newest one is called Blue Listed. It's, uh, it's got little Charlie Beatty and Junior Watson on it from California. And um, I don't know, as a band, we've toured all around, 13 countries, four continents, and uh, we've got Jeff Aslan on drums. Martin Rajambal on bass. And uh, sometimes we have an organ player too, his name is Jesse White. All right, cool. Uh, growing up, what were your influences and uh, favorite players? Well, I guess the way I got into blues was basically from seeing B.B. King here uh, in Ottawa in 1995. And uh, at the time I was playing drums, but when I saw B.B. it just kind of spoke to me, so I wanted to uh, switch. I switched to guitar. Actually, I played bass first, and then I went to guitar. And um, I kind of went through it all with blues, Stevie Ray Vaughan and Hendrix and all that stuff. And even before that, I was listening to uh, you know, Led Zeppelin and guys like that. But um, when I heard of BB, I just kind of went back from there and just listened to all the different um, famous guitar players, Albert King, Albert Collins, and uh, got into the Texas guys, you know, Jimmy Vaughan, and uh, Nancy Funderburg, all kinds of guys. <laughs> And how long have you been playing guitar? I've been playing for about, I guess, 12 or 13 years now. And uh, how much do you practice with the band or by yourself, uh, the guitar? And... Well, the band actually doesn't practice very often because we only practice when we have new songs or a couple things we need to tighten up. But uh, So, I mean, on average in a year we might practice uh, as a band maybe eight or ten times. But, uh, because we're usually on the road or playing gigs, and when we're playing gigs, um, that keeps the band tight. And, uh, you know, the communication is all pretty good anyway. And uh, why the blues? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's just, uh, it's, it's not that I found blues, it's that the blues found me. I know it sounds cheesy, but uh, but that really is the way. I mean, I've, I used to listen to uh, all kinds of different stuff. And, um, you know, in high school, all my friends were listening to rap and hip-hop and all that stuff. And it just didn't really speak to me that much. And I just didn't get into it. So um, blues was the blues, and uh, it's my true love. <laughs> Here's a little different question. Uh, what do you think when you're on stage playing? It's a tough one. That's a tough one. Um, a lot of the time, I mean, when I'm when I'm soloing and, and doing guitar solos, I'm not really thinking of anything. I mean, I usually think a little bit, just just saying to myself, okay, where can I take the solo that might be different from what I did last night? You know what I mean? And uh, sometimes you get the rut and you do the same kind of solo all the time, so you want to think about how to go a different direction with it, but um, aside from that, there's not a lot going on up there. It's kind of just, you're on autopilot, you know, and it's just, it's just coming out. And uh, do you consume any alcohol uh, during the show, and uh, what's the JW favorite? Well, you don't want to know the JW favorite, because really it's, I like girly drinks. I like drinks that taste really good. But uh, I don't really drink um, on stage. Sometimes for the uh, third set or something like that, I'll have one drink. But truthfully, alcohol for some reason has a really odd effect to my throat and uh, kind of damages my, it kind of takes away from my singing. So uh, girly drinks, I'd have to say. Have you ever had a chocolate martini? You gotta have a chocolate martini. You'll be in love with them too. <laughs> And uh, last question, uh, do you have any message for your fans? Just thank you. I mean, uh, honestly, we've been going for 10 years now, and I'm, I'm living my dream by playing blues, and uh, I just appreciate everyone that, that comes out to see us and uh, keeps coming back and supporting us, and it's just the best thing. So it's, it's without, without the fans, without people who, who dig what we do and come see us, it wouldn't happen. I'd have to work at McDonald's or something. So, so thank you very much to the fans. Uh, thank, you. thank you for your time, and uh, good luck to your show. Thanks, I appreciate it.